from New York, the headquarter office of the Virtual Nephrologist. We bring you this report about kidney disease celebrating World Kidney Day. Kidney disease is a non-communicable disease and currently affects around 850 million people worldwide. One in 10 adults has chronic kidney disease, or CKD. The global burden of CKD is increasing and is projected to become the fifth most common cause of years of life loss globally by 2040. Chronic kidney disease is a major cause of catastrophic health expenditure. The cost of dialysis and transplantation consume 2 to 3% of the annual healthcare budget in high income countries, spent on less than 0.03% of the total population of these countries. In low income and middle income countries, most people with kidney failure have insufficient access to life saving dialysis and kidney transplantation. Kidney disease can be prevented, and the progression to end stage kidney failure can be delayed with appropriate access to basic diagnostic tests and early treatment. There is a need to increase the awareness of the importance of preventive measures throughout populations, professionals, and policymakers. Awareness and early detection remains the most effective measures for controlling kidney disease. To learn about prevention of kidney disease, we take you to our office in Geneva, Switzerland. Dr. Health and this medical report. Thank you, Leah, for this great report. I agree with you. Our focus should be prevention, prevention, prevention. So in primary prevention, it means do something before anything damages your kidneys. It's an effort to prevent the onset of kidney disease before it starts. You need to try to preserve your healthy kidneys. In secondary prevention, we focus on early diagnosis. So it's early diagnosis and prompt treatments to prevent additional damage and progression of kidney disease. Now and with tertiary prevention, you have advanced kidney disease and you are trying to manage it after it sets in. The purpose is to control and delay the progression to complete kidney failure and dialysis. We also prepare for dialysis or a kidney transplant and try to control additional serious complications. The most important though is primary prevention of kidney disease. You need to know and recognize risk factors including diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and unhealthy diets. Primary prevention includes promoting of healthy lifestyles including physical activity and healthy diets screening people with higher risk for kidney disease with a simple blood test and a urine test. Of course, do not take arthritis pills except rarely. Definitely stop smoking. In persons with kidney disease, secondary prevention includes blood pressure optimization. For the diabetics, blood sugar control. Diet should be low salt, low protein, and plant-based diet. I can't emphasize enough prevention and awareness and early detection with simple blood test and urine test. So invest in your health before you have to manage your disease. Today should be your World Kidney Day. Check to see if you have kidney disease by having a simple blood test and simple urine test. Check and track your blood pressure. If you have kidney disease, control your blood pressure and your blood sugar plant-based diet, and a healthy lifestyle. To learn more about kidney disease, visit us on the web at thevirtualnephrologist.com.